I invite all God's children to gather round for godly play. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. While we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please, won't you be my neighbor? Hello, neighbor. So nice to see you. So glad you could come this morning to our godly playtime. I hope you're all safe, and it's great to see you. So let's go to the godly playroom and listen to a story about how much God loves us. So I'll see you in just a second. Here we are in the godly playroom. Let's begin with our greeting. I'll say, Christ is risen. And you say, the Lord is risen indeed. Here we go. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Thank you, thank you. Now let's listen to the Hawkins girls sing the Be Still in No song. Please sing with us. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. All right. So here we are. Let's get ready to hear God's Word. Let's get ready to hear a story about how much God loves us. So this is the desert. So many things happen in the desert. The desert is a strange and wild place. At night it is very cold, but the day is burning hot. There's almost no water at all. The desert is always changing. The wind comes, and as it blows, it shapes and molds, so the desert is never the same. Once there was a man named Abram, and a woman named Sari. And they lived in the desert near the beautiful city of Haran. The one true God loved Abram and Sari. One day God said to them, Move from your home, and I will give you a new home and a new land. It's all right to go. I will be with you, and I will bless you, and I will make you a blessing. So they wondered if they would be safe. Would God be with them across the desert? Abram and Sari went. They trusted that God would show them the way. They came to Shechem in the land of Canaan. God had been with them in Haran, but would he be there too in Shechem? 
Then God said to them, Look at all this land. I will give this land to your children. Abram and Sari were so happy that God was with them, they couldn't help but give thanks to God. So they built a special place, an altar, and they prayed their thanks. Then they moved on to a place near Bethel. And God was there too. Abram and Sari were so happy that God was with them, they couldn't help but to give thanks to God, so they built an altar and prayed their thanks. Then there came a great famine, so there was not enough food to eat. They were very hungry. So Abram and Sari moved to the land of Egypt for food. Abram was scared. He was scared of the people of Egypt. He forgot that God had promised to be with him. But God did not forget. God kept Abram and Sari safe. The Egyptians were good to them and gave them food and animals. Abram and Sari moved back to the land of Canaan, the land God promised them, to a place called Hebron. Abram and Sari wondered if God would be here too. God had been with them in Haran and in Shechem and near Bethel and in Egypt. Would God be in Hebron too? Then God said to them, I will give you many children to live in this land. Abram and Sari were so happy that God was with them, they couldn't help but give thanks to God. So they built an altar and prayed their thanks. They gave thanks to the one true God who was with them. Now Abram and Sari knew that the one true God who spoke to them and showed them the way was in every place and in every time, just as God promised. I wonder... I wonder how Abram and Sari felt when they were told to move to a new home. I wonder how it felt to leave their home and not know where they were going. I wonder if you've ever gone somewhere and didn't know where you were going. I wonder how Abram and Sari felt going through the desert looking for a place to live. I wonder how they felt when God spoke to them in all of these places. I wonder how many places God can be. I wonder about a lot of things, don't you? It's okay to wonder about things and ask God to help you understand. It's such a good feeling to know God will be there with you, like he was with Abram and Sari isn't it? It's such a very good feeling. It's always so nice when we go to Godly Play and learn about Jesus. I'm so happy you joined us this morning. It's such a good feeling. Such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling you're growing inside. And when you wake up ready to say, 
I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you know that God is there when the day is new and he will always be there for you. And when you have things you want to talk about, God listens to you. All right, so until the next time, remember, God loves you. God created you. And God is always with you. Have a nice day, neighbor. It was so nice for you to come and visit us again. And I hope we see you next week, too. Until then, be kind to each other and stay safe. Goodbye, neighbor.